in the mid-Atlantic region of the U.S., and it is a glorious afternoon at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. It's the Battle of the Beltway. Baltimore and Washington are underway. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, their young quarterback, the rookie from LSU. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now, if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And this is going to be a commander's first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Second and a couple. In motion goes McCaffrey. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and five. Play action, now it's Daniels. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Sacked on the corner blitz by Marlon Humphrey. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Play of the drive. 
Working out of the gun, Daniels. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Robinson's got it. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. And McLaurin going to pick up a commander's first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. This is second and eight. Zaki is here hauling it in. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. So the completion good for just three. And it brings up third and five now. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Jaden Daniels. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of 8 yards. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And able to get this out to the 25. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. In motion, Aguilar. They'll start with the option. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Play action. Now Jackson. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break.
Now Jackson. And this is incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the ground, this is Derek Henry. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. The Commanders bring it out the nickel package on third down. They go play action now. Jackson, a little short one there, caught by Likely. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will do the job nicely, as that'll be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there, and just ran him down. Daniels looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 31-yard line. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing, and I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. 
To the air goes Daniels. Completes to Zacchaeus. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Here's second and three. And the slot man goes in motion left. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. An 11-yard touchdown. And the commanders go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Extra point by Seibert, up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Here's a second and five. From the gun, Jackson. And he fins. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, if the goal is to get back into this game, the offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now, but unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll drop the throw. Completes it to Aguilar. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Out now is a punter, Jordan Stout. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Here's Jordan Stout now. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's thrown for a touchdown. He also ran for a touchdown, so they have to count for a guy that can do a little bit of both. And because of that, that puts a defense back on its heels because normally you just think, okay, he's going to throw the ball. Let's tee off for an extra pressure on him. But when he's able to either escape or run with the ball and design plays, that really changes what you try and do on defense. Yeah, you certainly can't forget about the arm, that's for sure. Now Daniels. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. 
throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. To throw is Daniels. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Daniels. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Again, he'll drop the throw. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They get this out quickly to the left side. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Commanders. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet. But you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was capped off by the touchdown run from Brian Robinson. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Hill shedding the tackle. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. 35 seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Flowers. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Jackson to throw. A looking deep here for Flowers. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he's a long ways into Washington territory before hitting the turf. A big play there just before halftime. 55 yards. Yards. 
And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Tucker's kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! It was a solid first half of football for the Alabama man, Brian Robinson. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other has been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Jackson. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Because they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Throwing is Jackson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Again, Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jackson now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Yes. 
So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. That time, a six-play drive. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Robinson with another carry. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Daniels. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Second and ten. And they'll send the slot in motion left. And he's going to handle it on the touch pass. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can't go to try and go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Robinson up the middle. Shifts by him. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Play action. Now it's Daniels. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Back to throw. Daniels. This a quick slant, and he's got Terry McLaurin. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. 
That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Looking to throw. Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 36. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, that certainly has to feel good. And it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Brown keeps moving. Yeah, he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Back to throw. Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here is third and five. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there in third game as that was not an easy one to hold on to. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Seibert's kick is good. And the lead grows to 14 at 24 to 10. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also in letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. After the made field goal, Seibert back out there to kick it away. Hill shedding the tackle. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. The Ravens offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, put the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. They go play action now. Jackson looking left side. Andrews with it complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. 
that continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Henry out of the pistol. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much since. Aguilar in motion left. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Tucker's kick is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So it was fourth down and one in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little bit surprised that that's exactly what they decided to do. I kind of thought that they would go for it in that situation. But sometimes I'm sure you just think to yourself, take the three points, put them in your pocket, and move on. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. 107 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Second and nine. And the slot man goes in motion left. Off the play fake, Daniels. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Justin BK. In there to get him. It's a loss of five. Well, they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. And this offense on third down today can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is going to be third and 13. To him again. Justin Matabike drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long. Why are you coming to play action? Because yeah, they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Seibert able to knock this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that may be not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game. 
is in their favor. After the made field goal, Seibert back out there to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now it's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 27-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Flowers does a really good job there, picking up a new set of downs. And he continues to build off his impressive rookie campaign and saw him record over 850 yards on the year. His competitiveness allows him to make a lot of what we call combat catches, taking balls away from defenders. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's second down and three. Now Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Flowers. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Flush to his right. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So a seven-point game, they'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. 
The commander's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. To the air goes Daniels. That is caught. And he will have a commander's first down, and that should just about do it. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down,